Ok, in this video I will show you how to translate any file format with WordFast Classic using WordFast Pro version 3 as a pre- and post-processing tool. For the purpose of this demonstration, I will be translating a PowerPoint document, but the same technique applies to any file format supported by WordFast Pro – InDesign, FrameMaker, Excel, Tag Editor, etc. So here is the PowerPoint presentation I want to translate from Finnish into English. And I switch to WordFast Pro and I will open it in uh, WordFast Pro. OK. I'll save it as TXML and I'll now switch to the PM perspective and I'll go to the Bilingual Review tab which is a new function of WordFast Pro version 3. Here I will add the folder in which my uh, PowerPoint document and TXML is. I will select the TXML and I will export it as review. OK. Now if I go to the folder where I have my uh, PowerPoint document, my TXML, I now have uh, a new file which is an RTF. And I will open that file. The file looks like this. It has two columns, one for the source text and one for the target text which is empty. I will delete the target column. I will select the source column. I will copy it to the clipboard. I will uh, open a new Word document and I will paste that column into this new document. What I'll do, uh, I'll convert this uh, column into normal text. So I'll go to Layout, Convert to Text. And that's what I can start translating in WordPress Classic. Here I have a special code in red which corresponds to a similar code in the WordPress Pro uh, file, UT1. And I can uh, copy it as placeable in uh, WordFast Classic, like this. And again, we, here I have one more time such a code, so I can copy it. OK, now I'll quickly translate the rest of the file and we'll be back in a second. OK, now I've translated the whole document. So I can save it under another name and I can quickly clean, up, clean it in uh, WordFast Classic. So it's this one, clean up. OK, now I'll select the whole document and I'll convert it back into a table. This way. Now I'll select that uh, column. I'll copy it to the clipboard and I'll move back to my original review and I'll paste the column here. So now I have once again my bilingual review but this time it's translated until the end. I don't have to worry about the wrong header here. WordPress Pro doesn't care. So I can save that file. I can go back to WordPress Pro. I'll go back to the bilingual review tab. And now I'll, I'll reselect my folder. And uh, th this file, I will import it as review. OK. So now in my folder, I have a new version, a new TXML, 
which is called uh, txml merge.txml and I'll open that in WordPress Pro. So I'll move back to the txml editor. I can close this one and I'll open my merge file. And now it looks just like uh, if it were translated in WordPress Pro. And I'm almost done, so I can now uh, save the translated file. I will uh, delete this information. So now I have the same PowerPoint document with the target language code at the end. Save. And I can check my translated PowerPoint is here. I can open it and I can see it's now translated into English. So that's how we could use WordFast Pro in order to translate any file format with WordFast Classic.